In a recent article of Word and Update this month, she says the land patents have been reissued in the name of our government and to secure your land patent records. I have three certified copies of my land patent that was issued by the United States of America in 1919. Do I need to get new certified copies? And I also had a situation where I went to take it to the county recorder and they kept my certified copy and did not record it. What do I do? Well, get yourself another certified copy. <laughs> you know, as, as long as you can get them from the BLM, get them and, you know, hold on to them because that's the ultimate record that most people have. In the far eastern United States, they have land grants. Okay. But for most of the United States, they went through the Northwest Ordinance process and they were surveyed and the land patents that resulted that passed into private hands are the source of your ownership. So, you know, no, you don't have to go get new ones, but you do have to retain those old ones. And we now have the LRS system and Terry's put together a system for recording for the states, the individual states. And there's really no reason or fear why you shouldn't just, you know, pop it up there and go, okay, here's my claim to own this patent. And you will have to stand ready to show the um, chain of title, but there's really no reason why you can't do that now. And we need to do that. Now we're trying to, what we've tried to do because we realized that most people wouldn't have the time and effort and know-how and everything else involved. And we didn't want to see private property disappear in this country for all but a few elite, you know, boneheads that slog through and, and did this. What we did is that we, we reclaimed all of the U.S. land patents back to the United States of America to protect them. They're still U.S. land patents, but now they're assigned to the United States of America, the unincorporated federation, which adds a layer of protection there that wasn't there before. Got it. And so can you review those steps that people need to do? They have to start with getting the land patent first? Well, you could go at it from either end. Okay. I mean, you could start out with the land patent and then research the chain of title, beginning with your title to the people that you bought it from, to the people they bought it from, to the people they bought it from, all the way back to the land patent. And like this lady that has her 1819 um, land patent, that's a lot of research. That's a lot of, you know, trading and generations of people having titles and patents. But once you do that, then it's indisputable that you own what you own. Mm -hmm. And everybody else who didn't lay claim to that is stuck. Right, okay. And then was there uh, an, one other additional step with the um, the court seal? Was that related to that process or is that a separate process? Separate. Okay, all right. So those two steps again, just to repeat, are get your BLM land patent if you're on the western part, on, if you're on the eastern part, they're going to get a land grant. Land grant, and then research your chain of title. And uh, you can either do it yourself or you can hire someone to do that for you. Right. And it may cost you several hundred dollars to do something like that. Right. Um, it's not really that difficult especially in the BLM uh, areas, they have pretty exhaustive records that they've kept. Um, the 
land grants are usually at the county level and they're kept in the county offices in the Eastern United States and you can get them pretty easily. Um, most people understand, most people believe in private property. Most people are more than willing to help you research uh, the titles and the patents and the ownership interests of the, um, the grantors, if you will. And so uh, the original grantor was the United States of America, however that was being presented or whatever that, whether it was the incorporated Scottish interloper that uh, acted in our name and bought everything with our money, uh, or if it was uh, some other individual corporation or homestead or whatever. If you trace that all the way back, um, it all comes down to the United States of America operating in the international jurisdiction and the United States operating in the soil jurisdiction. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for that. Learn how to become an American state national or American state citizen by navigating to www.theamericanstatesassembly.net. Links to Anna's articles and resources can be found in the video description box. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting.